Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from moretesters.com. And today we got a quick look at these bad boys right here. This is the brand black rare metal in the, I don't know what colorway it is. It's gray, silverish. Either way, they're pretty fire. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as you guys know, I did the performance review on these guys already. To me, they're one of the top sneakers of the year. That list is actually coming in December, so be patient. It is uh, currently on my mind. Actually, it's on my mind quite often because shoes are flip-flopping around those top five spots like you wouldn't believe. But these guys feature multi-directional blade traction, Jetlon EVL cushion, a jacquard upper, a mid to low collar setup, which I personally love. I love the freedom and range of motion in that back area because it feels just like a low, but with the front area being up high like a mid you get all of that security and lockdown so it's kind of like the best of both worlds synthetic fuse overlays in high wear areas and that's legitimately all she wrote I've done reviews on these shoes already whether it be the you know the the alternate knit version the actual performance review the regular review on the black white colorway and this is just a different colorway same old sneaker in my opinion they fit true to size that's the size that I would personally get and while this colorway is not available just yet there are two colorways available currently at finishline.com I believe it's the black and white that I wore in the performance review as well as the black and red which I really 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 want so I'm I'm considering purchasing them but I have one two three four I've got like four or five pairs of these guys already and that's a lot man so I don't know if I'm gonna grab them but I really do dig that colorway dude like they look sick they look sick in person too I have seen what their other colorways or potential colorways are gonna look like as well and if those are actually gonna release the ones that I had in hand a while back which I'm not gonna show you because I don't know if I'll get in trouble or not but if those end up releasing like they're they're dope dude like trust me they they got some sick ass colorways coming so that pretty much takes care of it thank you guys so much for watching thanks for all your support if you're interested in grabbing a pair like i said they are available now over at finishline.com they also just got an account with dick's sporting goods so hopefully we see these guys not only online at dick's but also in store because that's the that's the number one probably pet peeve of mine for performance shoes today is that they're hardly available in store for people to go and try on and that's like the biggest thing for hoopers dude like we need to go try on sneakers like it's really hard to just take someone's word for it like no matter how accurate I am for you I might be inaccurate for another person you know what I mean as far as like sizing recommendations so that's that's my my major pet peeve I really wish that these uh, stores would carry these shoes more often and this is happening with big brands too like Adidas and stuff where like you can't find an Adidas in a freaking basketball sneaker shop for some reason so you know that that's my that's my rant for the day sorry <laughs> so, that was unexpected but thank you guys so much for watching thanks for all your support let me know what you guys think about shoes being available in stores. I mean, I know that most of you guys actually play basketball. It's got to be annoying for you too. It can't just be me. You know what I mean? Whether you're wide-footed, narrow-footed, flat-footed, high arch, whatever it might be, like it's got to be frustrating trying to find a new pair of sneakers and they'd be nowhere in like in sight in store for you to try on. It's to me that's frustrating. And I test shoes like all the time and it's just like a pain in the ass. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks once again for your support and until next time guys, have a good one.